Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create a color group from a photograph. First, let's open a new document, then go to File, Place, find a photograph that you would like to use and click Place. Now click, hold and drag to place it into your document. As soon as we place the photograph, the tab toolbar appears and here we can find all the necessary tools to use with our photo. With the photo selected, go to Effect, Pixelate and choose Crystallize. Let's adjust the zoom to see more of our photo. Now adjust the cell size. The bigger the cell size, the more reliable our color group is going to be. When you are done, click OK. With the photo still selected, go to Object and choose Expand Appearance. This will turn our crystallized artwork into a flat object. If we skip this step, the effect is only kind of applied to a photo and we will miss out on the benefits of flattening the colors in the photo in the first place. And now we are ready to create our color group. First, press the letter I for the eyedropper tool or select it from the toolbar panel. Make sure the swatches window is open. If you can't see it, go to Window and choose Swatches. At the bottom of this window you will notice the new swatch icon. Right now it is grayed out. As soon as we click on the photo to get our first color sample, the icon becomes active and we are ready to create a new color swatch. The new color will appear at the top in the Swatches panel and at the side toolbar. Now click on the new swatch icon. The new swatch dialog will open and here we have many options. We can give our swatch a name or add it to our library. When you are done, click OK and our new swatch should appear in the Swatches panel. Get another color sample and create a new swatch. And again. Keep adding as many colors as you wish. When you are done, select one of the color swatches and while you are holding down the shift key, select all the other swatches you added. Now click on the new color group icon from the bottom. Give it a name if you wish and click OK. And here is our new color group. You can change the color swatches order by clicking on the new swatch and dragging it to a different place. If you would like to use these new swatches in a new document, you should save them. First click on the folder icon in this new group and then select the Swatch Libraries menu icon from the bottom. Click Save Swatches Type any name that you will remember and click Save. Now press the Ctrl and N keys on your keyboard and create a new document. Then make sure the Swatches window is open and select the Swatch Libraries menu icon from the bottom. Scroll all the way down until you see User Defined Highlight it and you should find your new swatch group in this list. Click on it to select it. Expand this window, click on this new swatch group we've just created and it will appear in the swatches window. We can close this window. Now let's create this background using our new swatch group. First draw a rectangle to cover the artboard. Get rid of the stroke, make sure the fill is on top. Open the gradient panel and choose black and white gradient. Next open the swatches panel and drag the colors from our new color group into this gradient. Now 
If you like, you can adjust the color stops, change the angle to negative 90 and adjust it a little bit more. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.